Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Electrical Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I'm going to be discussing a little bit about the uh, new UK electrical toolbar that I've added into the electrical plugin. So, to get right to that, let's uh, go to the uh, global settings of the electrical plugin, and it's this uh, three little slider bar icon right here. <clears throat> okay, so you'll notice that. Um, under the electrical standard right here, the second item here in the general tab, that now you have the option for uh, NEMA, North America, or BS British, uh, which stands, BS stands for British Standard, of course. Um, so, typically when you first start by default the plugin, it will be just, uh, it will be here with the NEMA North America option. Um, so we're going to go ahead and switch that to the British Standard, and click Save Settings, Okay, and when you do that, you'll notice nothing actually happens with toolbars or anything. So you actually need to restart uh, SketchUp uh, to get that uh, toolbar to go live. So we're going to go ahead and shut down SketchUp, and that went out, and we'll go ahead and start it back up. Give it a second to load. Okay, so you'll notice, um, we're just waiting for other stuff uh, to load here as well, but let's give it a second. Um, what you'll notice is you'll notice this other toolbar uh, be enabled when you turn on the uh, British Standard. And this is the new little uh, UK toolbar. <coughs> and for now it has um, switches and it has outlets. So, uh, fairly st straightforward I think. I'm going to go ahead and just drop that right there where I have space. As you can see, it's pretty cluttered here. I've got way too many toolbars turned on right now. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, again, uh, the British or UK standard, British standard toolbar is um, outlets and switches. And you'll also notice, too, that these other toolbars do not turn off the uh, standard um, NEMA, the, basically the North American standard. So you, even though you turn on the British Standard, you still have the option to draw uh, your NEMA outlets and switches as well. And you know, that might be uh, useful for somebody that's kind of has a mixed installations scenario. Uh, probably not very likely, but I just figured there's no point in disabling um, the NEMA Standard just because you have the British Standard available to you. So let's go ahead and just load up a little quick uh, bunch of walls I created here for you for this uh, demo. Um, so, you know, here's a couple walls with some windows and doors in it. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you, first of all, um, you know, your typical uh, North American standard switches, you know. Uh, we're all familiar with those. Uh, and outlets. I'm just going to drop one right there. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm not spending a lot of time positioning these with, against studs or anything, but, I, you know, you can do that, of course. So that's you know what those look like. We're all familiar with that. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, give this a go. Uh, let's draw a switch. And you'll notice the first thing you'll notice actually is when you load this menu up, you'll have like these little previews. And the reason why I've done this for the UK out outlets and switches is because um, rather than just uh, specifying a single gain you know switch uh, you know with some other specification. I'm also I'm actually using the um, the serial numbers uh, or the part numbers from the manufacturer, and in this case, they're all uh, provided by MK Electric, which in this case is the MK Logic Plus series. So as you um, select different uh, you know switches here, you, you should see a little preview like this pop up, showing you kind of what you're going to get. So let's go back to that gray one. I guess that one looks kind of interesting. Hit update here. And just like doing the uh, uh, the regular uh, NEMA standard, same 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 thing. You can position them along the wall, um, you know. And let's go. Let's do like a two gain switch. And you've got lots of options as far as you know different different switch types. Um, oh, I forgot to hit update. Let's try that one more time. <coughs> now with the switches, um, I haven't set up a, a 2D symbols that use kind of the UK typical symbols. For now it's using the NEMA style switch symbols, um, but I will probably update that here in the near future. I just uh, haven't quite gotten to that yet. And I actually, I'm actually waiting to get a little more feedback from people on what exactly they want to see me do there. Um, but another thing that's kind of interesting with this is, you know, I, I notice a lot of UK installations, you know, with, especially with older buildings, 
um, they'll do surface mount um, type of uh, switches and rather than the uh, zinc boxes or steel boxes they'll go with the uh, these plastic ones these white plastic ones so let's go ahead and do that and now let's go ahead and drop that same switch right there so now you've got yourself a surface mount um, switch with a white plastic box all right um, yeah and right now all I have is a logic plus series um, you could put just like with the NEMA switches you can put in a switch description a circuit have that option there as well for you um, I don't know what else to say yeah we got basically all these oh you have the architrave which is um, this little tiny narrow style um, of switch and I think you have the white box as well, which is typically used for a surface mount. So let's go ahead and throw that in there just to see if that looks right. Yep. Well, that's a blank one. Um, let's go to the regular switch here. Uh, too many switches popping up here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that's that's the... I guess I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that. I, I pronounce it arc, architrave. Um, anyways... But that's what the A stands for. Um, there is that option, and I noticed that in the MK uh, Electrics catalog, it seems to be a typical type of switch. So basically, you have the one, two, three, four, and six uh, gang possibilities. Uh, and the U.S. and the U.K.'s method of handling that is a little different. Like you know, for a six gang switch in the U.S., you would actually have a six gang box, whereas you'll notice with the these MK, you know, that basically I call that a two gang box, but you can put a six gang switch in a two gang box. Um, so, you know, it's a, <clears throat> a little different. And, you know, let's drop one right there just to see how that looks. So, and, and so, like, you know, typically you'll, you're you going to show those six switches so you can hook your wires to them in, in your, in your uh, diagrams. All right, so that's uh, switches fairly straightforward I think not a whole lot different from the uh, the other toolbar um, let's go ahead and throw some outlets in now okay so outlets um, yeah it, same idea here you've got yourself a little preview with the uh, gang number you've got one two and three possibilities I think the most common is these two gang outlets and you've got quite a few options here as you can see there's a lot of different color options and you know different configurations where those switches are exactly <coughs> and again same thing here flush surface mount whichever one you want to do let's do let's start with a flush here for instance okay and you can see um, you know that's oh this one's got the USB ports um, but you know you can do other ones that don't have the USB ports these ones have those cool little neon colored switches on them <clears throat> now as you can see here um, I am I do have the kind of the UK symbols uh, enabled now for these um, these type of uh, UK outlets so they they use a slightly different um, symbol for it let's go ahead and drop in say a <coughs> uh, let's try a three gang for instance <coughs> Looks pretty good. Um, let's go with the zinc box. Actually, uh, let's do the plastic box and then let's do the surface mount just to show that. Okay, so let me, let me scroll over here so I have some room. Okay, so there's your typical surface mount three gang switch or outlet, sorry, with switches. Yeah, I wish you know the UK or the U, <laughs> the NEMA or the North American standard had had these switches like this. It's kind of I think it's kind of cool myself. Uh, the UK switch or outlets have that a lot of the times. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, um, so the only other thing I really want to point out here is um, the weatherproof option. So when you go to the weatherproof option, you're going to notice first of all the the outlet mounting is grayed out, um, and that's because these are typically flush or surface mounted I guess I guess they're really surface mounted but it just grays it up because that option really isn't it, it doesn't apply <coughs> anymore and then the junction box of course is grayed out because these are the outlet plus the junction box combined already so there is no need for an additional junction box to be specified and then here you know you've got different variations of uh, these 
um, what I call weatherproof outlets. So let's see, let's just drop one right there. Uh, update on that. Okay. So, and you'll notice too, these are kind of semi-transparent. I made that like that just so you can kind of see what you've got inside because since these are solid plastic, you really can't see, you know, what's in, what, what you're dealing with inside. However, you do have this uh, one that has the transparent lid, which is kind of cool. So, for instance, there's a black one that has this transparent lid. <coughs> so you do see what's inside. And you'll notice here, you know, WP stands for weatherproof. Uh, let's try a single gang version of that and oh, that's uh, some kind of funny here let's just zoom in there and this is like a single gang version and on that one I happen to round the corners um, I probably should need to do that on all of my models but for whatever reason I didn't previously I'm just trying to remember if I got any yeah uh, and the difference between some of these you know by the part numbers and if you were to examine them you you would notice like for instance this this has a switched outlet in it and this one does not have a switched outlet so that's really the difference um, editing is uh, similar to any other outlets and switches just click the uh, um, where is the edit edit uh, edit edit the edit electrical button and you just pop over on top of it uh, highlight it and there you go you can edit it you know so it's really straightforward again Yeah, and you know, I'm, I'm pushing. I'm putting on the outside of the wall, but of course, you know, and uh, typically these would be on the on the exterior and not on the uh, interior. So you know, that that would be a standard installation. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> I think that's pretty much it for outlets and switches uh, with the UK toolbar. Um, yeah, there's there's you know, there's always more options I can add. There's more styles. MK Electric has a lot of variations as far as um, all their different styles. I just have the MK Logic Plus, and I can't remember what the name is for the uh, weatherproof boxes, but they have a special name for that as well. So we have at least kind of the basics there. And then um, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is just the uh, legend. So when you click the legend button now, um, you'll notice that you're getting not just the uh, you know the US symbols but you're, you'll also if you've got any of the UK stuff in there you'll also get uh, the UK symbols for those uh, you know applicable outlets and uh, and switches well actually the switches no because the switches you're just gonna get you know for now you'll get this but once I do add in the UK symbols and we'll also have those in the legend but at least you're getting the outlets uh, UK outlet symbols now Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or give me a call. Uh, as always, I appreciate everyone's support, and thank you very much.